Today we wanted to get a first-hand account of what it's like to use one of these super advanced bionics. And for this, Dan Jay and I are joined now by Mockingjay actress Angel Gifria. Thank you so much for joining us here on Tech24. Hi, how are you? Angel, you were actually born without your left arm and you started uh, wearing a myoelectric prosthetic when you were just four months old. But today you're among the first to wear the B-Bionic three hand. It's actually a muscle control prosthetic. Um, how has this bionic hand changed your life? This hand has been amazing. I first received it in March and since then, the list of things that I've been able to do has been crazy. I, I've been wearing a myoelectric hand uh, a simple bionic hand for a very long time, and it allowed me to go through my life and, and live it um, in a way that I would do without not being able to have one hand. But with this hand, it has made everything easier. There were things that I knew how to do, but then when I got this hand, I became better at it. Like what example? Um, some of the girly things you can think of are like curling my hair, where I can like hold a curling iron and curl my hair, um, paint my nails, which is really cool. T tying your shoes, like a simple task. Um, another really simple one that when I realized I could do this was so exciting for me, pull my rolling suitcase through the airport while checking my phone for the time was a huge deal because otherwise you have to step out of the way of traffic and look at your phone and get out of the way of everything. And it just makes some simple daily living tasks so much more manageable. Do you feel like directors are, are looking at you in a different way now? Yes, so my old hand that I used to wear outside of the myoelectric for film, I wore something called a cosmetic prosthesis. A cosmetic prosthesis, it's a passive, so literally no function, no movement, but it looks very real. So I would go into auditions as a two-handed person because I thought that my missing arm was going to, to hinder whether they chose me or not. And then there were the occasional parts where I would go in for an amputee where I wouldn't wear any prosthesis at all. But when I got this hand, I started to be excited about going in wearing this hand. And I've actually been able to book some roles that had to do with just my prosthesis. Um, in March of this year, right after I got the arm, I booked a small role in a Ben Affleck film that comes out in October of this year where I got to wear the arm, which was really exciting. That is very exciting. And I think, uh, Angel, Dan has a question also here for you. Uh, in fact, I have a couple of questions, Angel. One is, uh, do you think this technology will be soon available to everyone? And second, what's the future of bionics according to you? The technology is actually available, but the problem is the cost. It's very difficult for people to afford this technology. In the U.S., um, we're having a difficult time with our insurance getting people to cover it. They, um, they told me when I first requested this arm through my insurance, that it wasn't of medical necessity. I didn't need it. And that to me was, was almost like hurtful. You don't need a second hand. They said, we're only required to give you the most basic of function. And it's like, well, isn't the most basic of function two hands? That's what most people have. So it, it's been an uphill battle trying to make this readily as accessible for, for most people. But the B-Bionic hand is actually at a really great price point in comparison to some of the other bionic hands that are on the market. So I feel with time and with um, mass production and different things with investments and technologies, the hand will be able to be cheaper and much more affordable to the everyday person. And what's the future of bionics according to you? Oh man, I'm so excited for the future of bionics. I'm looking forward to being able to have those electrodes, which can be as small as a grain of rice, implanted into my arm so I don't have to worry about the skin contact or the socket fit and different things like that. There's just so many new things that are coming out so quickly. I'm excited for all of them. I'm like, can I have that? <laughs> well, we're definitely all very excited. Well, thank you so much, Angel Gifria, for speaking to us. We look forward to seeing you more on our screens and best of luck for your upcoming projects. Thank you Moving so much on. and I hope so too. <laughs>